I don't got shit. never had a daddy. I had to teach my self how to be a man. You understand me? And I'm still learning. But it can't a out there tell me. The first in line to siphon Tupac's money was Billy Garland, also known as the sperm. You never kept a secret, always stayed real. Father Tupac had never known. My mother got pregnant and didn't really wasn't really getting with the guy that she was got married her to someone else. No, nah, no, she right? wasn't married. No? My mother was out just living her life. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. And um, she got pregnant and had me. I didn't have a father. Did, Did you know father? who the father was? Your biological father? I still don't know who it is. Um, for sure. I've never taken any blood tests. The guy who I knew was my father, who claimed to be my father, he, he passed away, he died. And is that Legs? Yes, but then recently, while I was, when I, after I got shot, this other guy came, was like, he was my father, and he looks like. He been in the jail to see me. His kids look like me. Well, what was that like? That was the bug out. I just woke up and he was standing over. Do you believe him? I do in a way because he looks like me and his kids look well, like me. Why don't you get a blood test to find out? It's, it's scary. Tupac was 23 years old and was already famous when he met you, Billy for the first time in 1994. You never kept a secret, always stayed real. I hadn't seen Pac and he knew about Pac. He saw Pac when he was a kid. I used to bring him over to Jersey City. He used to spend the night with uh, me and my other kids. You used to sleep in the bank, bump beds with the kids. Oh, yeah, he was, he was about three. He was three years yeah, old. Yeah, maybe about two or three. He was two and or three I took him to play basketball. And all my friends thought it was my other son, Malik, Carlos Malik. I have, uh, I had six beautiful kids, Landon, Carlos, and Nika, who just passed two months ago. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, heart attack. That's a hard one. Uh, Takira and uh, my youngest son, Billy Jr. So I have six. Now I have four. Uh, no uh, person should lose a child. Definitely no person should lose two children. Oh yes, and Billy showed up again in 1996 at the Las Vegas Hospital where Tupac lay on coma. I wonder what good it does for the dying when you're there for them at the end of their lives, but you never showed up for them while they were living. All Billy Garland ever did for Tupac was create a void, which Tupac, in all futility, searched to fill for most of his life. Why did you sue Tupac Shakur's estate? It was an insult. I was Tupac's father after the quad shoot. I was in Bellevue. I was Tupac's father. All my many visits to Clinton prison in Dannemore. I was Tupac's father in Las Vegas. Me and Feeney's in the Golden Nugget crying the night he died. So I was Tupac's father up until he died. And when it Came time, I think it was the rebate or the birth death certificate. I think it was the rebate paper. Uh, the, I think it was the death certificate paper. Uh, the probate? Probate. Probate. Okay. Probate. okay. And uh, she had signed it that uh, she was the mother. In that little section that says father, she had put that he was dead. Wow. Broke my heart. Broke my heart. Could have talked to me. I didn't want no money from two bucks. You were the mother. I didn't care. But for you to disrespect me and treat me like that? What else? I, I, you know, I don't want this state. I just wanted to be no, noted that his father is alive.